Do you have some beautiful hardwood cutting boards? Do they not look quite like they used to? Because you actually use them like you should. Maybe you also have some wooden utensils that are looking a little dry. These hardwood cutting boards and utensils need to be maintained. You should be maintaining them using a mixture of beeswax and mineral oil. You could go purchase that product, but it's very simple to make it yourself. Let me show you how. What you will need to make your cutting board butter. To start with, do not use the wife's good pots. Put those back in the drawer. Use the crappy one. Measuring cup, a metal baster, locally sourced beeswax from the farmer's market. You will also need mineral oil. Make sure it is food grade mineral oil. You will need something to put your cutting board butter in. These are four ounce aluminum tins. We will also be using a scale. I'm gonna do this by weight rather than volume. I'm gonna do about a four to one ratio of mineral oil to beeswax. So four parts mineral oil to one part beeswax. Okay, let's measure up our mineral oil. Zero it out. I want 16 ounces by weight of the mineral oil. Okay, so we'll take our 16 ounces of mineral oil. And we're looking for about four ounces of beeswax. There's six ounces. Close enough. We can take our beeswax, which smells amazing by the way, really smells like honey. If you've got something that doesn't smell very well, then you might not want to use that on your cutting board. Very low heat. Not a terrible thing to use one of the spoons that needs some attention to stir this with. Can you want to do this at a low heat? Now we are heating oil here, so you don't want to get it too hot because the oil can burn. So I've turned the burner off now and we're just going to let the rest of that beeswax melt. Um, so just be careful with the next step here when we put it into the containers. Well, I think it's thoroughly melted now. You can see it's taken on a little bit of the color from the beeswax. It's definitely not clear anymore. So, the cutting board butter has set up and it is ready to use. It's great conditioner for your wooden utensils that you may have, cutting boards, and uh, it's a great maintenance item for them. Uh, just use it on a regular basis. Anytime they start looking dry, rub it on, let it soak in a little bit, and then wipe off the excess. Pretty simple to make it yourself, and a small batch will last you for a long time. And I hope you like and subscribe and follow me for some more videos.